Most woodworkers and wood turners would have a bandsaw in the shop. Today's video is about a jig built for the bandsaw and it's called the Little Ripper. Okay, let's not mess around, let's get stuck into uh, how it all works. Now you see here we've got a piece of, uh, I think it's cherry, yes it is, it's a cherry burl. And it's been sliced, as you can see on this side here, but I want to get a uh, sliced here. And I also want to make this a lot more rounder before I put it into a mould to uh, get it epoxied and then put them back into the lathe. So normally, if you were to cut this with the, saw, the bandsaw this way, then you can see the unevenness of this piece of timber. I mean, sure, it may cut nicely if you had some form of a uh, jig going this way and have this all screwed up and have it uh, stable so that uh, you get a nice flat cut on this side. So let's uh, mount that onto the jig. So this is the jig here, and we've got two, I uh, call them jaws at the top here. It's gonna hold the piece um, into this uh, L-shaped bracket. Get it where you want it to be. Screw that down as tight as you possibly can so it won't move in the jig. And I'll just place this over here for a minute. Okay, and what we have here now is the uh, movable slide that's going to sit right uh, in parallel to the actual blade here. And this just simply gets um, tightened underneath the uh, bandsaw bench and uh, holds it in place once you've got it into a particular place, particular angle that you want. So this moves forward and backwards on the uh, bandsaw table. And so we just let that sit there for the moment and we grab the uh, little ripper and we put that onto the moving table, backwards and forwards here until we get it where we want it to be to make that cut. Yeah, that, she looks like a beauty there now. Yeah, that's gonna cut. So screw it down, nice and tight. They're coming underneath the saw table and uh, anchor down the moving plate. I don't know if it turns underneath here and that locks it so that's actually not going to move anywhere and this will slide backwards and forwards when I start cutting. So on goes the uh, bandsaw. You notice here that my uh, hands are miles away from that blade. I'm going to present the blade onto the uh, piece of timber. and the cut's been made. Off goes the bandsaw, and just so I can make sure you can see this, I'm lifting it off, and you see there, there's a nice cut face. Easy peasy. And the other part of this uh, jig is the uh, circle round ripper, as they call it. Now this comes as a, an optional extra to the jig. I bought it because I want to make some bowl blanks, of course, being a wood turner. So the way this works, it works in conjunction with the uh, sliding uh, bandsaw blade tabletop. This has been able to move this way and this, um, the round ripper, moves this way. Now I'm just bringing it up to camera a little bit. The, uh, I'll just turn it around so that you can see that. Um, the round ripper has um, indication marks. Now I'm not really particularly a fan of um, this material that's been uh, etched. It looks like it might have been laser etched or could even be CNC's but the numbers here are not that clear. But it doesn't really matter if we're doing a, a round uh, bowl blank then you can simply uh, get your tape measure out and uh, measure from the blade to that actual pin which is the center of the round 
So, you know, I want six inches, which would be 12 inches on the marker of this particular tool. So I'm out by about a half an inch. I'll just move that back a half and um, just measure from the blade to the center of that pin that's spot on. So you can see here the blade is in line with that 12 inch marker. So all this works is you just uh, bring, you can present this whichever way you want to get your uh, center. Round about there is where I would go. Um, and I can see I'm gonna have quite a bit of material cut off with a bandsaw on either end and maybe not the size too much. And you see now that this thing can be turned around quite easily and be presented up to the blade as it should be because the actual width of this bowl blank is going to be less than the 12 inches which I'm, I'm um, cutting. I'm really going to go and cut the ends off of this piece of, piece of timber and um, it's going to give me a little bit more roundness for, for the lathe. I mean, you know, come from Australia, we've got great white sharks. You do not want to put your hand anywhere near one of those guys. So why should I put my hand next to the uh, bandsaw blade? I won't. So this is really good to operate. <coughs> you can turn the piece of wood like this with your hand over this side of the piece, opposite to the blade, or you can just turn the knob on the top. So I'm pushing it straight in, turn on the blade, and just present the piece of wood. Around it goes. Nice and easy. Nice and slow. Now this particular blade I'm using here has been on for quite a few weeks. So it's not as sharp as I'd like it to be. But it's doing the job. Coming out the other side of the timber. Keep turning it around for this side to be cut. Move that piece of wood out of the way. Feeding that timber in for as, uh, as slow a speed as you can. Don't rush things. And there she is, job done. Off goes the bandsaw. Now all I do now is just uh, unscrew this uh, knob at the top here. Pulling that up nice and easy. Wait till the band saw blade stops spinning. Uh, take the piece out. Remove the jig from the uh, slide. And uh, there she is. It's nice and round on that side. And it's got a nice bit of timber to uh, present that to the lathe. Well, that's it, um, the Little Ripper. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, please like, um, subscribe, and press the bell. Until um, next time, guys, cheers.